This short video is aimed at children, young people and their families and will share information and offer support with regards to selecting the most appropriate insulin injection site and rotation technique. So there are four main injection sites, which you can see in this image. In children and young people of all ages, the upper outer quadrant or the top of the bottom at the outer area has the most subcutaneous fat and so there's less chance of injecting into the muscle if this site is used. Injecting into the muscle can lead to variable absorption of insulin and more painful injection. Use of the outer area of the thigh is an option but this site has the least subcutaneous fat so there is a greater risk of injecting into muscle. Other options are the tummy area. Imagine a smiley face under the tummy button. The back of the upper arms can also be used, but this may require support from a parent or carer. Ask your healthcare professional for techniques to help support you to self-inject and also to find the right injection site for you. So how deep to inject? Generally, the shortest pen needle available is advised for children and young people in order to minimise the risk of injecting into the muscle. This is currently 4mm in length. If school staff, carers or a nurse are giving the injection, perhaps to a child who's under 8 and unable to do it themselves, a safety needle is advisable. However, the shortest currently available is 5mm. So, although a lifted skin fold is not usually needed, it's a good idea to discuss this with your healthcare professional, especially for two to six year olds, very thin children, and for those requiring someone else to inject for them. So to do a lifted skin fold, raise a fold of skin between the thumb and fingers, not too tight, not too much, Insert the pen needle at 90 degrees and inject. Remove the needle while still holding the lifted skin fold and then release. So why rotate injection sites and how is this done? Overuse of an injection site can cause problems such as lipohypertrophy. This is also known as lipos or lumpy injection sites. Use of a simple rotation plan can minimise this risk. Each injection should be given one centimetre away from the last. In young children, the size of the overall injection site is clearly much smaller. So visual prompts such as drawing a clock face can help children to fully use as wide an area as possible. So how often should injection technique be reviewed by your healthcare professional? This should be carried out at least annually and include assessment of rotation and reuse of needles. Needle reuse may lead to injection site complications and cause increased pain, so should be avoided. Remember to wash your hands before you do an injection. Always inject into a clean area never inject through your clothing. All of this information in this video is available in the Best Practice in Diabetes Care Toolkit. Ask your team for a copy. We hope this has been helpful and thank you.